Okay, now that we've exported all of the keyword information into Excel format, we can manipulate it a little bit easier. Uh, at least I like to use Excel. Uh, so I'm going to just I'm going to do exactly what I always do with my keywords. Um, all I'm looking for is the exact searches. That's all I'm interested in. I don't want phrase broad. Um, you know, other people might do different things. I just look at the exact searches so that I know the exact keyword I'm targeting um, is actually getting significant amount of searches. And I just look at the AdWords uh, CPC broad. Um, that's good enough. Um, the CPC isn't. Uh, you don't need to worry, just the exact, the broad is fine. Uh, and then I will sort it, uh, and if you know how to use Excel, very easy, just do a sort um, by the uh, searches exact column ascending. And then what I'm doing, because I don't want any keywords that receive at least a thousand searches a month. So this is done by uh, number of daily searches, this column is. Um, so, you know, I usually, go to around 53 searches you know I know that that's about 1500 or more uh, per month but more searches is better so I will just actually hide all of those and that limits my uh, number of keywords quite a bit I don't know if we're gonna find any good keywords on this one but let's uh, let's see um, so what I will do then is I want only the exact match domain names now there's a really fast way to find that out um, using GoDaddy.com. Uh, this is one way that you could do it. I just wanted to show you that you could do it with spaces in the keywords. Very cool. You can go to their bulk registration link here um, that I just clicked. And right in here, you can enter up to 500 at a time. So I'll just paste those in, and even with the spaces. Um, and then I will look at just the .com, .net, and .org, hit search, and that will tell me really quick. It filters out all the domains that are not available. So here, all of these are available. So what I will do, um, this is not really what I do, um, but I wanted to show you um, the issues that you might have if you do just paste those in. Um, because what happens is if I do a sort because I want to be able to look at the exact searches column as well. Um, so if I sort, um, let's sort the entire spreadsheet here. And if I sort by, uh, we're in the keyword column, this will do an alphabetical order. You would think it would uh, pop up just fine, but notice here, there's three in a row and, um, you know, for example, key, keyboard reviews um, is up here. It, it just makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, a lot of times the keywords aren't right next to the domain that you're looking for. Um, yeah, down here. I mean, all of these, I would have to hunt through these keywords to then look at the searches per month and other information. I just wanted to show you that you could do that. Um, so let me, what I'm going to do is show you what I really do now. Um, I will insert another column and call it domains. And there's a cool little formula, the substitute formula in Excel. And all that that does is allows you to substitute one thing with another. So I'm going to substitute everything in that column. Uh, I'm going to select that column. I'm going to substitute the space for a no space. That's what I'm doing there. I'm putting the quotations marks with a space and then quotations without a space. And all of that, that's the formula. Hit enter and then notice there's no spaces. I just copy that down. Then I copy that back over to our keyword tool here on GoDaddy or our um, and I didn't select the .net and .org, it only did .com. So let's do that again. And this time, uh, it'll be the same domain names available, obviously, but this time when I paste it in here and 
I like to highlight it so I see what domains are available. And I sort by the domain column. Now you can see that the domains are actually available are right next to the keyword um, that is available. So I can go through very quickly and I won't even look at all of these keywords because the ex exact match domain is not available. Um, so keyboardcases.org is available. Anyways, you can see how I narrow that down very quickly, saving me a lot of time if I only want the exact match keyword, which is what I'm going to do um, on this 30-day challenge. Um, some of you may want to do it differently, but I thought I'd show you that little trick that I use to narrow things down quickly.